8.30 Mountain Time, and we show you the stuff we bought, we tell you what we paid for and what we're gonna sell it for. And if you wanna shop along, you can go to jrvhome.com. I almost fell over. I was doing so good with my intro. Well, go to jrvhome.com. jrvhome.com, and then you just click the Saturday Thrift Haul, and all of the items are already loaded in there. Ivy is live tonight because it is Jacob's birthday. Woo woo! And they went Happy out birthday, with Ashley and their husbands, and they went out to dinner. So Ivy is going to be moderating and dropping links. So we're super excited to have her here. Looks like Odelia's on. She's actually babysitting Caitlin's boys, but they're probably in bed by now. I don't know. Or Maybe. they're being good. Caitlin, uh, Eliza, and Odelia are watching Caitlin and Ashley's children. So super excited to be here. If you love junk, thrift hauls, DIYs, farmhouse videos, and a myriad of other things that we like to put on our channel, <laughs> make sure you hit that subscribe <laughs> button. But there's this trick. If you go to this bell, it's like a little bell on the side and you click it and you put see all, then you'll get all the notifications. Otherwise, you'll just get whenever YouTube feels like telling you. I cannot believe Dealer you choice. scored this mirror for $6.99. We oh, went to Savers no. this week um, and we got so much stuff at the Savers. We were going to hit up other thrift stores and we're like, you know what? That's... That's a whole car full. We we did good. Well, at Savers, we spend on average 35 to 40% more for the small items, but then things like mirrors are so cheap. So you Washes win some, out. you lose some. And people always ask me like, how do you price things? I don't price things based off of what I pay. I price things based off, based off of what they're worth. So this is Market one of the value. biggest <laughs> um, finds of the night. It's a beveled mirror. It's a vintage frame. It's got really great detail. We're gonna paint it. We paid $6.99. And we're gonna sell it for $69.95. And we have no problem selling mirrors at that price, especially with beveled glass, especially once they've been painted and waxed. I think that's the best profit margin of the night. Yeah, it does have a couple little chips. It's legitimately old, but we, I mean, most people are like, yeah, give me that good chip. I do have another mirror that's really pretty that has a pretty decent profit margin too. But you'll notice that a lot of the smaller items we pay more. And we did save 20% this time at Savers. Yeah. We did the time before. So if you donate at Savers or if you spend $100 your last visit or a cumulative up to $100. Yeah, you have to sign up for their club. Yeah. But then you can, and yes, I belong to the thrift store club. It's kind of, it's kind of a leak. To be in the thrift store club but every time you spend 100 bucks you get a 20 percent coupon on your file so this was the initial 20 percent off of what we're telling you so these little salt and pepper shakers i can't i think they're just cut glass they do uh, you think they're crystal no they're cut glass they're cut glass hold on does it ring <gasps> the lid. The lid well anyway while she's finding the lid we bought these jamie's always talking don't pass up the wall of baggies these are glass okay I thought so, but you know, it's hard to tell when they're this small. I priced them as such. Um, but they were two forty nine. We're selling the set for nine ninety five. Did you lose that lid? Yep, I found it. Okay. I love these for like little tea parties or fancy events where you want to have like individual salt and pepper shakers. Again, I if you guys watched our video on Monday, I mentioned that you never want to pass up the baggy wall. This was on the baggy wall at Savers. Um, another item on the baggy wall. Did you are these... name these darling little salt and pepper shakers? They are darling <laughs> mini salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> when you're the one that names them, you can name them whenever you when, want. When I put stuff on the website, I get to name it. <laughs> 144 Decor says those are from a plane. Not necessarily. I've seen those um, at little tea parties. I've also seen them That's a at fancy really plane. bougie uh, room service. I gotta, I gotta, my head's. Um, but these are next. These are tea light holders. They're tarnished uh, silver. And these are also from the wall. There also were some really ugly tea light holders that didn't make the cut that I just left. They were there. all in the baggie together. Yeah, you get what you get in the baggies. But I paid $2.99 for this set of four, and I'm selling for $10.95. So these came from the baggie wall at Savers. I'm telling you, you just never know what you're going to find. Okay, let's see. Two, two separate heights. Oh, Lou said uh, he or she, I don't know. I have an Aunt Lou, and I also know a guy named Lou, so he or she um, was worried about that we wouldn't do a live because we were live this morning. We were just live this morning because we were running late. We on were our, on a deadline and behind, so our, we're like, let's just go yeah, live. Yeah, <laughs> our craft box. Well, really, we were both too tired last night to pre-shoot the and record it. And I was like, dude, let's just take the night off. We'll go live in the morning. Then you don't have to edit it. So we just did our craft subscription box this morning. 
So this was, this is a uh, bar, what's bar, what was the bar? Bar W. Bar W, there we go. I wanted to add a number to it. So this, this <laughs> was a bundle two, deal. Bar two, bar W, whatever, in round top. So this was a bundle deal. If you watch Thursday's video. Oh, lose a sheet, just like my aunt. Sweet, nice. I will remember that, Lou Carter. Um, so this was part of that, you remember that big brass pitcher that I thrifted? Well, to get the price where I needed it, I threw some other things in. I got like four or five things You're from You're such that. a bundle it. <laughs> but this was originally, I think they wanted two bucks for it. I ended up getting it for 50 cents. It's an old school um, shoe polish wax. I think these just look really cool, like set up in pictures and stuff. Or like in a little vignette in a bathroom yeah, or whatever. Um, so Suzanne said that her hubby lost his job twice during COVID and she's twice. too ill to work. So they've been flipping stuff together. Perfect. You We're know glad what? you're here. Hopefully you'll pick up a few tips or maybe you already know everything and you can give us some tips, but that's why we, a lot of people ask us, why do we share what we pay and what we sell it for? Cause a, I can't keep a secret. And B, there's a lot of people that watch us that don't shop, but they're flippers and it just gives you an idea of what the market is. You are among friends, I'll tell you that. Yeah. So let me see if I can get this closer. There you go. Um, it does have a little bit of the old polish in there. It's hardened. I wouldn't use it. Yeah, don't use it. It was three. It's three ninety five now. I got it for fifty cents. We're passing along to you guys for three ninety five. We have this exact same picture. It's. I'm not gonna lie. It's from IKEA. I have zero clue what it costs there. I we paid four ninety nine and we're selling for nine ninety five. So if you want to be twinners with us, this is one of the pictures we use for syrup. It fits it's, in our microwave really well. I like and it. It's a nice thick glass bottom with like stripes. It's got the, the stripey ribs on there. I'm like, maybe that's a hey, Sally. Cup, two cups, three cups, four cups, Melanie, five cups, when are we six getting cups, a house seven. tour? I don't know. Uh, we show little bits uh, and pieces. We have to do a at least a photograph tour by the end of May because we have to submit it to Dion because she's putting it in her magazine. So maybe when we do that, then we'll also do a house tour. We'll I, I was propositioned to have all the little nitpicky stuff done by Mother's Day, and I, that leaves me with a week to finish the sheep shed, which we started today. We're about half done, and put a fence around the yard and finish like all the stuff. Like I don't the see trim. it. I don't see the trim happening, but maybe you could <laughs> hang a couple light fixtures. I feel like that's yeah. That's I'm, fair. I might be able to get that done in time for your Cinco de Mayo party. I would like the ceiling fan in the family room. Oh. The mudroom light and the and is there is there a light missing over the stairs to the basement? No, I fixed that one. Okay, so mudroom light and a ceiling fan light. Oh, Ivy's on it. She already posted this small picture. We so paid I loved the, yeah, it was yes, four ninety five. I loved the color on this. It's it reminds me of boho blue, bohemian blue from I DIY. We were painting it because I put that in the list. Of oh, I wasn't planning on painting this. Well, you can paint it if you want it. Fourteen ninety five. You said when we bought it, I was like, "That's a lot for it." And you're like, "I'm gonna paint it, and make it awesome." So maybe we'll just do like some cool, like white on it, like a. If you end up stamp. buying this and you don't want us to paint it, just say so. If not, I'm probably going to put some sort of stamp on there with some salt wash. No, I was gonna say, what if we just leave it the way that it is and then we take stamp and roll paint on it and do like one of the peony stamp, like just something a little. So you see oh. the blue, but then you've got like a design on it. Cause I don't know, the camera's probably not picking it up. Look how, I just loved it. So that is good, is $14.95 and it will get some sort of paint on it unless you just don't want it to be painted. Laura says, I wasn't gonna get anything, but I did. I needed a new copper mug because I ruined my other one. Was not happy. How did you ruin your other one? I am horrid to my copper mugs and yeah they sit with water in them on the nightstand for a week at a time and then we wash them Roger, go upstairs to the playroom do not go and mess with jack <laughs> sorry my girls usually help out with the boys but they're watching caitlin's kids all right so oh kai says that um the rug the white rug with transfers came out great and love the rug in the family room thanks oh, thank it's you. a little bit tall for our couch but we're gonna leave it unless I find something else. You which know what? Could be like forty Your years. Your dad now. scooched it over to I'd the couch. I scooched it over because he's supposed to have his feet elevated so they don't swell. I noticed that you put a bunch of pillows behind him so that he didn't get his head on your white couch. No, he did that. Oh, it was he? I, he, he was proactive pillowed, about it, huh? He pillowed himself up. I just moved the thing so he could prop his feet up. So he uses some oil in his hair to get it just the way he wants it, and wherever he it sits, it's so greasy. Gets we should just put oily. a towel in the <laughs> chest, and then when he wants. To on the couch you can just put the towel there you go. okay 
Um, copper lid ceramic base canister is sold. How much was that? It was $3.99? So $3.99. We sold it for $14.95. It had a little emblem in here, but it was like a cheesy, plasticky one. It was one. a sticker. So we got rid of it. You could, you're welcome to stencil or do whatever you want in there, but I it actually think it looks fine. Yellowed playing. because it was old, you know? And you know how the stickers yell, like it just looked bad. It said coffee on it, which was fine, except for it was just yellowed. So it looks a million times better with the sticker removed. And if you don't want to see this bevel or you don't want to put like a number or something in there, you know, just flip her around. I would just, I don't know. I don't know if you guys know this, but I flip so much stuff around. You just flip it around. I'm like, yeah, this, this side looks better. Cushion than the is other. dirty, flip it over. Yeah, this side, this side looks better. So the kind of funny story on these. So Jamie found this one in one part of the store. And then she had to go to the bathroom, and I found this one while she was gone in an entirely different part of the store. Well, I found this on my way from the bathroom or something. Like, I brought it back to you, and then they were <laughs> married together. So $3.99 and $4.99, and we're going to paint them, and they're going to be $24.95 for the set. For the set. They're kind of cool, though. They're just... You know, I think this one tried to have like a map of the world or something on there. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but it's not, it's not accurate. It's, it's not good. And then it's this one. That one's not as bad, but the faux painting is it's very got, cheetah. I was going to say, it's got some cheetah. You know when we say not to distress like a cheetah print? Check it out. Watch when I spin this. What do you see on that ball? 144 Decor wants to know Saturday is the best day to pick. I don't know. We picked this up on Monday. Mm -hmm. So if you watched our video from Monday where we painted last Saturday's leftovers, we did a day in the life of with us on Monday and we did a vlog style video. This is from that. So we yeah. picked it on Monday. So I think that with us, it's really about going first thing in the morning. Although this was in the afternoon. Well, it was like 11. Yeah, it was like 11. They'd only been open an hour. But Savers is different. DI, you have to be there right when they open because they only load in once a day. Sometimes Savers is they still load loading all day long. But Savers loads all day long and has a different clientele. But mm -hmm. DI has like the hardcore pickers that go right when they open. So I feel like if you don't go when they open, you're not gonna find it's good as stuff. You know what I love about Savers? I can roll in there and find like designer brand shorts that I love for, you know, three, four dollars and they're like new. Frank wants us to tell his girlfriend, Chrissy, congratulations on her new Jeep Wrangler. And he oh. gave us a super chat. Well, congratulations on your new Jeep Well, Wrangler. thank you for the super chat and yay for Jeep Wranglers because those like are Jeeps. awesome. Odelia has a Jeep Commander oh. and it's awesome, except for we need to fix the ignition. Yeah, the but other than that. The ignition, we let Harrington old. borrow it. It's not it. new. Harrington borrowed it while he was fixing his truck. And then like the day after he got done borrowing it, the ignition went out. And I'm like, trying not to blame him. But I'm like, dude, what'd you do That's to it? That's curious that it breaks. <laughs> there was a broken key in the ignition and it won't work now. I'm like, what happened, bro? Rose petals and rust, that copper pitcher did sell um, from the video that we did on Thursday. So this is tarnished silver. It might be silver plate. It doesn't say on it's it. It's gorgeous. The detail it's is amazing. like awesome. Yeah, it's got. So it's a server. Really good detail on this. Um, and it was seven ninety nine, and I'm selling it for twenty two ninety five. Yeah, and we will leave this tarnished because that's the way we like it. Jamie, okay. Uh, Amy says she loves her Jeep Commander, or loved my Jeep Commander. It, it is, it has a Hemi and it has leather and sunroofs and it's actually in really good I mean, it's older, condition. it's an 08, yeah. which, you know, in my mind, I'm like, oh wait, that's not that old, but it's going to be 13 years old this year. <laughs> yeah, but we still need to replace the, um, we bought new lights for the front and the grill because the grill's a little cracked, but yeah. It's, it's got 150,000 miles on it, runs strong. Um, Marianne, the lamb head above my range, we used to sell, but the manufacturer no longer makes it anymore. So I'm going to show you the back of this bowl. And then the top of this bowl, it's pressed glass, it's not cut, it has tarnished silver around it. Couldn't pass it up, it was $3.99. We're selling it for $10.95. I feel like that's a pretty good steal there on the tarnished silver I feel like pressed glass she, bowl. So Laura said she put her cup in the dishwasher and it was ruined. We put ours in the dishwasher and it looks like this. Um, and I actually like it. So I don't know if you just don't like that it gets kind of You can polish looking, the copper up. But there's, yeah, you didn't ruin it if you put it in the dishwasher. I mean, I don't know. I was just going to say maybe try polishing it. But yeah, it's not going to hurt you if it gets a little worn. Yep. Or at least I haven't had any problems with, you know, 
I mean, I, I got this little tick that happened, but it's okay. So someone just asked when the lambs are showing up. Technically, we could have picked them up this weekend. We've been out of town and then busy when we got back into town, and I haven't had time to build them their proper facilities, um, which we started today. So we're picking them up next weekend. If I get done with the fence and the shed and everything like that in between videos this week, then we will have lambs and you know we're going to show them to you. Amy says it was very comfortable tank. Yeah, we bought the commander to keep Odelia safe. One of our followers, I can't remember what it said, is don't buy Odelia a car based off of Harrington's driving record. So we spent a little bit more than we planned on because we thought, you know what? That's good advice. All right, so Ivy actually bought these for $3. Really cool. Um, I think it was, what's that? In Heber or St. George in your fav favorite place to pick. Um, and we're going to sell them for $24.95. They are European. They're done in liters. And they're brass with copper labels. And it's for the set. Those labels, oh. it's not showing up. Laura, it has a film on it. Laura, I would try polishing it. I bet you could get it off. Oh, we don't yeah. have a film on ours, but maybe that's just we use different soap or and the dish. It could be hard ours, water. We use ours like crazy. Like, And your, yeah. mom, your mom scrubs them? Like your mom? So... So Jimmy's mom uses the dishwasher. She's probably in the other room watching, watching right now, but she uses the dishwasher. And what she does is she washes everything like she would normally wash it. And then she throws it in the dishwasher so it can get sanitized on the heat cycle. Yeah, but just, <laughs> Laura, don't give it up. I mean, you can still get a new one, but I bet you could get that. So real quick, this is a half liter. And I don't know, this says two DL. I don't know the metric system well enough. And this says one DL, so. Direct liter, I don't know. This was $3.99 and we sell these platters for $12.95 for the tarnished silver. Elaine Morris says she's been to DI three times and is a half mile from her house. That is awesome. She's in Houston. Oh, man. Yeah, well, and it's new, so they're loading it up. Amy says she wishes there was a DI in Ohio. Amy, you live in the Midwest, the land of good deals on furniture. So you may not have a DI, but I know there's some good picking out there. Yeah, did you All show right. them this and talk yeah, about it? Yeah, I did. $4.99 and $3.99. These have a slightly green hue to them. I actually love the big ones for storing spaghetti noodles. And then I don't know what else you store in this one. But anyways, the set is $22.95 for these vintage, like, greenish hermetic jars. These always sell really well in a set of two, in a set of three, in a set of four, whatever, um, because of the coloring. People just really like them. Yep. They're just like a hint of green. I got I got a little bit of scolding because I was just grabbing picture after picture after picture. Oh, it's deck deck a leader. Oh, Thank I was you, right, Kirsten. I said I think I said deck a leader. Amy says, "Oh the yes, there is best of. garage sales in the world." I went to a garage sale today. You're not going to see it because it's in Odelia's room and we washed it. But I got a Von Dutch hat for fifty cents, and I just remember thinking they were really cool when we were in high school. Yeah, they were. Um, looked it up. They sell for like the cheapest one I could find was fifty bucks. I mean, it's a little used condition, but I paid 50 cents the yard sale. Dilly was over the moon excited. So I bought, I bought four, five pitchers total. One fell out of the truck when we were unloading and broke all over the ground. But we have two more. This one's cool. It's that got, one's vintage. Check, check out the swirl on there. You can we see it the from both sides. We love the swirly two-quart pitcher. Yep. Paid $4.99. Yeah. For that one, what's the price on the bottom? Uh, $14.95. Remember pricing, that's what we do here. Yeah, I know. I'm I know. just eager beaver to show people stuff. And then this one's $4.99 as well. This one's at $12.95. I just, you know, it's got a plastic lid. Zeb but cannot I, stop I love the square he can't pictures. Stop, won't stop. It says ARC 20 on it on the handle. And you know what? Here's the thing. I fun storage containers of all sorts, whether they're square little boxes or cool pictures or these type of jars. I just, I love them. I don't know what it is. 144 Decor says, wish I could drink water straight from my kitchen faucet. Fun fact, we have an entire house water filter. I mean, we so... could drink it straight from the faucet here. I mean, yeah, the Lehigh water is fine anyways, but all of our water, you can drink it out of the bathroom faucet. You can drink it out of the shower. Everything yeah. in this house is filtered because we didn't know if we could afford to redo the main water line. And I don't know if you know anything about old water lines, but they have a lot of minerals and things you don't want to drink. And so we threw that in, and then we wound up replacing the water line anyway. So now we so got we got extra a new water line water. and a whole house filter. Um, so this is uh, a picture that I passed up. Cynthia, <laughs> we do not have a water softener. Because the not handle... as hard here as it was 
in our other neighborhood. Here's I don't the, know why that is. Here's the thing. I cannot stand water softeners. I'm like, I can't get the soap off of me. It's still soapy. It's all foamed up. I Tell can't you what, get it if off. If I start getting hard water stains, I will be getting a water softener, but <laughs> we haven't we haven't had the need. But yeah, I'm like, I'm like, why is my water feel all bubbly? Like I don't, I don't love it. <laughs> all right, so this particular picture is really cool. The handle yes. has broke and somebody repaired it. So this is gonna get the old salt wash treatment. The, actually, the whole thing. Yeah. Has has had some it, damage. It's been rebirthed. Okay. So in order to cover up the repair situation, although this is not. Oh yeah. We're gonna salt wash it to give it more structure and then repaint it, it's gonna be awesome. It's it's definitely old, like it's not done how popular it's done $1.99 and we're gonna sell for $16.95 because it's gonna be cool. And again, if we don't get everything that's supposed to be painted tonight, you'll see that on Monday's video. Monday's video might be some painting, some sheep burning. Yeah. We gotta go to Park City on Monday and go get a dresser I bought. Oh, you don't told me we like had to that. go to Park City. I didn't know it was coming Monday. <laughs> oh, well, I said next week, but we can take them with us and then maybe we could go get breakfast. Can we do that? Yeah. Okay. So this has one of these little wires broken. I'm going to go, Jamie's going to show you a couple things and I'm going to fix it right now. It's $4.99. We're selling it for $10.95. Love a good little wire basket where you can see all the stuff that's in can the basket. Can he fix it? If you can't, you could just, all I did was just tuck it in. Yeah, it, go, it tucks up in, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go grab my stuff. Show them some more things. You might want to also like give it a little extra down at the bottom because now that you wiggled it back and forth. Anyways, we priced it accordingly. It's always salt wash the same as baking soda. It is not. People say that it is, but it's not. Baking soda does not give you the same level of texture that you can get from salt wash. I've tried it. That's how I know. Um, you sold them on the food, Tarnia. Uh, yeah. After 20 years of marriage and 22 years together, I know how to get them do what I want. All right, so this is a pure bowl. I bought it because I loved the hobnail, hob, yeah, hobnail detail around the edge. I paid $5.99 and I'm gonna sell it for $12.99, $12.95. Here's a pewter platter. I think this is very like mid-century modern, just very clean lines. It says R H R on the back. I don't know if it was like homemade or if HR is a brand. I paid $4.99 and I'm gonna sell this platter for $16.95. And then I have this platter, but I'm not sure. Is this pewter, you think? Probably, yeah. It feels like pewter, but I'm not 100%. Has velvet on the bottom. It's really polished up. Yeah, I love the handles on it. I'm actually getting some platters similar to this that are silver and then they have gold handles and I'm ordering them wholesale. Um, and so I'm super excited to carry those. But I found this one and thought it was cool. I paid $4.99 and I'm selling for $22.95. And it feels like pewter, but I'm not gonna swear to it. There will be no swearing of that pewter. All right, so weird story. So that puts this in the car. I'm like, don't buy this. It's not actually old. Um, and then he put it back, and then somehow he says I picked it up, but I don't remember. I put it back off the up. shelf. I'm like, all right, yeah, we haven't sold one of those in a long time, and that one's not actually that old. It's from Target. It says made by design. We paid $4.99, so we're only marking it up $2 and selling it because maybe you need a sifter for $6.95. But I, you know what? I didn't put it back in the cart. I'm like, hey, I got up to the register, and she was still overlooking at collectibles. And I'm like, oh, well, I guess she decided she wanted that. <laughs> she has no recollection of putting I it back in the car. I do not recall. I do not recall. All right, so these are not from the back porch, although they are Hummel. Man, these are from, that sorry, chair. this is Bertha Hummel, so not like the Germany one. Well, I mean, it's from Germany, but it, it's from Goebel, 1996. But there's but there was an unfortunate. Well, first of all, we're missing Joseph's staff, okay? Um, and I paid $5.99 for each. I'm going to sell them for $22.95 for the pair. I think Mary's got a broken Mary, finger too. Mary held her pinky up too high and it is gone. But I still think it's super cute. So I'm going to sell this out for $22.95 because they're Hummels. And, you know, worst case you get Joseph and he's hanging out with Mary and just get a little DIY paint. And unless somebody gets really close, they're not going to know. But there you go. So just little... Oh, they're sold. So maybe somebody didn't care about the finger. Because I put in there, she had a broken finger. So just a little tip, if you need something to get repaired, you know, you can buy a lot of super glues down at the hardware store or wherever. I get the Class C super glue off Amazon. Man, that stuff's strong. 
not class B, not class D, but C, as in C's get degrees. I don't know what it stands for, but it's just, I saw Commercial? a YouTuber, maybe. Ty used to be able to get me some from the mine because they like gave they gave it to him like it was, you know, I was going to say candy, but that's not a good thing to refer to. <laughs> don't put it in your mouth, kids. Okay, Ironstone Creamer, <laughs> not marked, paid $3.99, selling it for, or not creamer, sugar dish. Um, and I'm selling it for $9.95. I love the little finial on the top. It's super Do cute. not. If you get some of this, you know. And it has a chip, and I noted that in the picture. Whoa. Might be fixing that, too. There we if go. you get some of this, because, you know, Zeb told you it was awesome, do not get it on your skin. Wear gloves or be very cautious, because it ain't coming off for like a week. <laughs> Let's see. The Savers Ghost put it back in the car. Right? Yeah, there might be salt wash retailers in Canada. You can check the um, retailer map. All right, so these I actually got from Facebook Marketplace and I bought a whole bunch of them. They are railroad keys and I don't know what this keyed to, but that's what the guy told me that I got them for. And I'm selling for $4.95 each and I have zero clue what I paid for them because I bought them a long time ago. But I bought 25 of them because I like to bundle deals and that's how I get good pricing. This one's stamped PRR. PR, Pacific Railroad. This is also PRR. They might all be PRR. Yeah. They're probably for like boxcar keys or something. Like they probably had like a know. master key so that wherever you ended up. So know. this is a big mason jar, but it doesn't have a lid. It's $3.99. I actually like to use these for like in my laundry room for like dryer sheets or laundry soap or whatever. Um, and then this one is $11.95. And it was four ninety nine, and it does have a lid. Did you show them the belt buckle while I was gone? I did not get that far. So I love these. I wish that we looked for everywhere for the lid on this one, but couldn't find it. But it's still totally. It actually would be super cute with a bunch of spoons and rolling pins. It, well, maybe one rolling pin and a bunch of spoons next to your stove. So Colorado was had been a state for a hundred years in nineteen seventy six. Hundred? Is it? Oh, it's, it's the, the centennial. I, Oh, I put bicentennial in That's the That's only 50 game. years. This is centennial. So, and someone oops. made a brass belt buckle. And I think it's small enough it'd work for women, too. Oh, it's not Jane very, says those are switch huge. keys, and her late husband collected them, and it stands for Pennsylvania Railroad. Pennsylvania, and there you Phoebe go. Phoebe says it's buffering. I'm actually streaming on my phone, and it's not, so it's probably um, hop in on and your hop out. end. You can hop out and hop back in, and maybe that'll help. But I, we just. Bicentennial is 200. Well, it's is, just centennial. Is bicentennial 200? Yeah. That's 15. One, well, it shows what I know. I got to go back to school. Uh, but anyway, we got it for $9.99. Uh, we're going to sell it for $24.95. It's got an inscription I saw right here. Authorized by the Colorado Centennial Bicentennial Foundation and Commission. In 1974, they authorized it. So. Ignore that it says bicentennial. It's actually just centennial. And yeah, they're not 200 years old yet. Whatever. <laughs> so I got this. I don't normally buy belt buckles, but I thought it was really cool. And it's brass. This Did you is, say it was brass? Yeah, it is brass. It's thick brass. Okay. So I picked this up because it reminded me of a dough bowl. And I'm like, man, it's a double dough bowl. Might, might paint it, might Oops. leave it, but it's cool. Either way, it needs a little scrubbing and possibly some distressing to make it look I'm not going to paint it. I'm not actually going to do anything but clean it because okay. I like the way that it looks. It was $4.99 and we're going to sell it for $19.95. But it's wood and it's been, I think it's just been painted. Yep. All right. I'm out of room These to These were picked stuff. up at a yard sale. In and of itself, they're not that cool. They're just Ikea pillowcases. I buy them all the time. But I haven't seen the black ones. Maybe they carry them out. I don't know. I usually just get the white ones. I paid a dollar each and I'm actually going to stamp them with IOD stamps and white ink. Probably not tonight because I'm super tired and I don't know how neat I can be. But I'm going to make them cute and I'm going to sell them for $24.95. And I'm going to use the new chrysanthemum IOD stamp. So if I, if I can pull it together or I can get <laughs> Zeb to do it. I think these would be awesome with white ink because I feel like it'll really pop against the black. So I'm gonna sell them as a set. And if they don't sell online and I sell them in my shop, I'll sell them for like $22 each and I'll put a um, feather pillow insert. And if you guys are resellers, you can get the feather pillow inserts at Ikea for a really reasonable price and they look great because you can chop them and make your pillows look really high end. 
Oh, Sally said that um, her apron arrived and it is wonderful. Super chat. Thank you, Sally. I'm glad that you love it. Which one did you get, Sally? I don't know. Which one did you get, Sal? I, um, I actually saw the order come through when she bought it, but I messaged my gal that sews them for me and said, we sold out. We need more. So she's away for a show this weekend and she's going to sew some more. And then I sent her, do you guys remember when I did those grain sack pillows with the ruffles and the buttons? If you remember, that's like from when we first um, owned the shop, like from when we first took it over. Anyways, the gal that sewed them for me doesn't sew them anymore, and I sent them to the gal that makes my aprons, and she's like, oh, I could totally make those for you. So I'm hoping that we get those back. We'll see what the price point is. So I, I thrifted this clock. A guy was in there walking around, and he had it in his hand, and then he put it down, and I'm like, yes! And he just kept walking. So, you know, sometimes I like to give people a little minute to decide. We will stalk you if you have something good and you haven't committed to putting it in your cart. And even if it's in your cart and you look like you're teetering, we will stalk you in case you put it back. <laughs> um, again, it takes a C battery, so I'm not 100% if it works or not because I do not have a C battery handy. It's got if a it really not, big mechanism back here. We will put a here. new clock mechanism in there. Yeah, we got those. We know how to do that. Um, so we will make sure it's working. We paid $4.99 and no, we're going to sell paint for... It. What? Are you going to paint it? Yeah. Oh, I said no. Yeah, I'm going to paint it. What are you going to paint? What part are you painting? So I'm going to paint it white, but I'm going to bring back a ton of the gold. So it's going to oh. be mostly gold. And then I was thinking that add a good some look, pink white on gold. there and a little bit of green because I saw a French clock. White, pink and green and no, white? No, no, no. Like, like that. I'm going to make it look old. Like it was painted a long time ago. Are you doing that in this video? I don't know. Probably not till Monday. We'll see. We'll see. I got a lot of stuff to paint. <laughs> I saw, I found this. I looked it up. It wasn't overly valuable as is maybe like 30, 40 bucks unpainted on the secondary market. But I think if I paint it, I can make it worth more because I saw some beautiful French clocks and I'm going to do it. You know, anymore, everything, it's got like the made in China. This one says made in USA. Jamie can buy jug in Kmart for three glass dollar glass in Australia. I don't know what jug is in Kmart in Australia. <laughs> we don't even have Kmart. Today. This is, this is, is this off Marketplace? That is off Facebook Marketplace. So guys, I bought it. she brought this into the truck. I'm like, what is that? I'm and pretty sure I get it out of my I'm truck. selling it for. I just, I thought I had a project for it and I don't. And if you don't buy it, it's fine. No love lost. I will just... It's a tapestry. It's a tapestry apron. It's made of velvet. It's hand-painted. It's got a swan. It's puffy. Like, somebody has taken, made, like, hand-sewn it and put stuffing behind it. I think it will be gorgeous. Careful. Careful. It's, it's de very delicate. You can see the stuffing on the back. The velvet is like this royal blue. I don't know. I'm just kind of obsessed. We actually have a It's French, very old. We have a French swan carnival ride seat on our front porch so i just like swans and i saw this and i just bought it so you know whatever now i'm gonna put it back in the bag sally says that clock is at least 40 years old yeah it is it is old for sure it's home co um and that's how i was able to look it up what is the glue again on amazon it's just class c super glue there's a bunch of different brands you can get oh bobby said she liked that i did an awesome job with my clock Thanks. My mom likes it too. I gave oh. it to her. Zeb should show you I, his I'll, clock. You know what? I'll show you my clock. I fixed it up real good once I uh, calmed down and it took a minute to do it. I was I was going crazy with that paint today. I know. And my mom liked mine as is. Zeb's mom is repainting it. Just She's like, hey, I watched the video. Will you be offended if I paint it green? I was like, send her a blank one. <laughs> Just kidding. It's fun. She'd probably love that, actually, to um, just get a kit for Mother's We actually Day. don't have any extra kits. Oh, so. man, it matches my shirt. I didn't it even does, plan that. It does. That's what they said on the video. Somebody said it matched your shirt. I didn't even I was like, plan really, that. really, it matches your eyes. This is Zeb's clock he did on the video. This so time. this is how it turned out once I took a second to do it. <laughs> this one would make a cute bag. It would, but it's old and delicate, and it's... so it really needs to be displayed and not moved around. So, can be done. Got to, you got to really slow down to make sure that you brush is slow dry. You got to slow your rodeo. Make sure that <laughs> foam brush is dry, dry. Um, we did sell out of the extra kits. However, if you want to sign up for next quarter subscription box um, that will go out the end of July, which we've already decided is going to be a corbel, then you can 
I don't think Ivy has the link, but if she can find it on the subscription boxes, they are open again. And a lot of people have already signed up because they don't want to miss out on the next one. And we're not really good at advertising it until people are like, oh, I missed it. So I'm trying to be preemptive. Okay. So we have one more big clock and then I think we're to painting. I know, I'm talking a lot with my hands. Uh, Amy says, are you mounting that as a tapestry? I'm selling it as is. If nobody buys it, I will have a shadow box made or buy a shadow box and mount it and keep it protected because it's old and fragile and beautiful. Can you guys see how big this clock is? It's got a functional what? wood latch with the door. It's handmade you... by David Lee Designs Furniture and Accessories Take in a guess. Northeast Pennsylvania. Take a guess at how much I paid for this clock. How much? I don't know. I'm going to wait for the I guesses know. to come in. <laughs> We're going to wait a minute. All right, We're wait. selling it for... $69.95. But. Patrick, I'm live. I can't fix the hole in your pajamas. Go to bed. <laughs> Patrick's Later. like, I can't go to now bed. You can go pee I got a hole in my pee. pajamas. All right, so we got some guesses $8, $2, $10, $12, $3, $10. Um, all right. 15 10 All right, you guys are all pretty close. It was $8.99, which I thought it was a steal at $8.99. $8.99? I'd, I'd, I'd have paid up to $15 to $20 for it because it's big. $144.24. If you're already signed up, do we need to sign up again? No. So it's recurring, which is important to know. So when you sign up, you're not just signing up for that quarter. You're signing up for until you cancel your subscription. So every quarter, um, when you sign up now, it's for next quarter, right? It's like Netflix so you won't get and the stuff when just keeps coming. Out. Yeah. <laughs> well, you won't get billed when that one comes out because you're already paying now, right? But when the next one comes out, you'll get billed again. And it's always billed the beginning of the month. So like the next box ships the end of July and you get billed the beginning of July. So if you've already signed up. If you sign up now, you won't get billed because you're already paying for it, but then you will get billed in August, September, October, you'll get billed again, and then another one will ship out. So make sure if you get a box and you decide, okay, I don't want to do the subscription box, make sure you cancel that because otherwise every quarter you're going to just keep getting them. All right. Thank you, uh, Sally. She says the clock is beautiful, and Kate says it's a deal for sure. Zeb is grabbing the drop cloth. It is 9.09 and we are already getting onto the, sh the painting. So everything you've seen is at jrbhome.com. Now we're getting into painting and you're going to see awesome paint that we're going to use and you can get those products, the stamps, whatever we bust out, I don't know yet, from jrb or jamierayvintage.com, which is our DIY product website. We've had a lot of people asking about salt wash and people talking about making your own. You can take ingredients and mix them together, however, they're not the same. It's kind of like the when- salt wash is special. It doesn't tint your paint. I don't know why it's special or what they do to it, but it's pretty magical. But it's kind of like when people say they make their own chalk paint, and I'm sorry if that's you out there. I still love you. But you can't make your own chalk paint. You can't take latex paint and put something in it and turn it into something else because it's still latex paint with an additive. Because chalk paint at its very core is just like a different base. So I'm just throwing it out there. You can do whatever you want, but if it doesn't turn out right, don't be like, but I was told because I done did told you. All right. I got some white, you want some salt wash? Yes, I do. I brought mint chip today. I'm excited about that. Um, you know what? Maybe I'm gonna paint that big clock. Hey, Would it be a good idea to super glue the cracks first? Yes, this has already been glued. But we do need to, can you, is there some sandpaper in there? Actually, we're going to salt wash it, so that doesn't really matter. There's a little glue ridge. Oh, I found it. Whew. Is the clock called the craft kit or home decor box? Um, it's called the craft kit, but the clock, that box has already shipped. So if you sign up for the subscription box, you will not get the clock because that's already shipped. You are signing up for next quarter's subscription box, which will ship the end of July, because this clock so is it's, gone. It's confusing because we're like, hey, look at this thing, but it's really just a demonstration so people can see how it goes together we and give them some, some ideas. We did have some like just clocks for sale. We had some extra ones and those are all sold out. So if anybody signs up for the subscription box, it's for the next quarter, which is gonna be corporals. I just, we knew a lot of people have wanted to sign up early because they don't want to forget, which I get that. 
Okay. What else, like I, said, what else are we painting? She got the kids to bed and now I'm back. Correct. But Sally, if you wanted a clock and you didn't get one, email Caitlin. Just Sally. <laughs> Sorry. I just don't know that we have a lot extra and I don't want Caitlin to get 400 emails. But email Caitlin and if we have an extra one, I'll let you know. But I think we may have sold them all. We always make extras because things inevitably happen in shipping. So we've got a few reserves for that. So if, those if something sell, goes missing yeah. or something, someone like someone's box came and like, like half the stuff was in the box and half wasn't. The box was like guillotined. I'm like, did somebody use that for a magic trick? Anyway, so we have a few with that. So if everybody's arrives alive, then we might have a couple extra left. Okay, so the <laughs> Sally ship. says you're right about making your own chalk paint. I know. <laughs> it's not like it's horrible. I've seen some really great homemade chalk paint products or, or projects, um, but it, it's not the same. So I'll do it. Also, be super careful anytime you're using plaster of Paris because you do not want to ingest that. And even salt wash is organic, but you don't want to be like over it while you're mixing it because you don't want that powder um, to get in your, in your system. Okay. Sally says, thanks. I'm signing up for the subscription box. Sweet. I think the corbel is going to be fun. We decided on the yeah, live today. Well, I design stuff just for the boxes. Yeah. And then if we have extras, we sell those until they're gone, but that's it. Yeah. Oh, Les is here. Hey, Les. Um, is there a DIY paint stockist in Australia? There is not. All right. We got salt wash in there. That's a lot of salt wash. Um, I'm going to go white swan on this. Okay. I'm going to stir that with the back. Can you open this. that? Wait, I already put mint chip in the bottom of that. Oh, I don't. Okay, we'll put white swan because I definitely don't want this to be bright mint chip. Okay. That was. I thought you. You're like I brought the mint chip. I'm excited about that, so I brought it to you. Yeah, I said I was gonna paint the clock with it, and then <laughs> it's fine. I'll make it do. Okay. Well, we got. I told done you we're tired. We've been outside in the sun, <sighs> working on the sheep barn. You know, it's it's been like it's been like. Four months already since I've done heavy construction. <laughs> heavy construction. This four by eight sheet barn is serious business. I'll take the spoon. What? What are you gonna Baby do? Baby says it would be a chalk type, chalk type paint. Yeah. It's fine. I don't want to go into it too much because I know there's a lot of people that use it and they do a great job with it and their stuff looks amazing. I just want people to know it's not the same because inevitably we wind up getting emails from people saying, I found this recipe, I tried this, I did this. It's not the same as yours, and I feel bad, but I want to be like, well, because it's not the same. <laughs> and then I can't help them or stuff. How's that? Is it. that not too bright? Um, yeah, that's good. Okay, I use the back of the uh, paintbrush to mix that up. You're welcome. Good job. Use what you got. Oh yeah, that's a good color. It's a nice vintagey. So that's mint chip and white swan. I haven't used mint chip in forever. So it's about. It's about, uh, I'd say, 70% mint chip, 30% white swan, if you want to duplicate this color we just did with salt wash. 50-50 on the salt wash. All right, what am I painting? What else do we have to paint tonight? These! You know, I'm, I know somebody in the comments is going to be like, I make my own chalk paint, it's fine. I'm going to be like, I told you it was cool. I'm just telling you it's all the same. Why can't I ever keep my mouth shut? Why? <laughs> I don't know, like, I know I shouldn't say things, I don't want to hurt people's feelings or offend them, but there I go. Well, and it. there's some places, like, that... They can't get it. So, like, if you go out of the United States or, or uh, too far, uh, even a lot of countries in Europe, they're like, I've never even heard of chocolate, now what you, is this? <laughs> if you start at the pigment base, you can be, like, a mad scientist and make chalk paint. You know what I mean? Like, start before you even add liquids. I mean, that's how all paint is made it starts at a powder form and then you mix things in so you, you could do that i bet you could i'm not going all right to. so i think we've painted a lot of things in farm fresh you're doing mint chip which is like we used to paint a lot of stuff i gotta switch over sorry I'm getting getting aggressive I'm too with tired that elbow. to pay attention to my arm i well that was building <laughs> i'm sorry for what my arm did while i was tired <laughs> well, Zeb was building the sheep barn. I was working on the tree. She was trimming trees so that we could fit the sheep barn over yeah. where the tree is. I know it's not the right time of year to do it. Zip it off. We've not; those trees haven't been trimmed in years, and they just. It, All right, it I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go dive into the colors. See what we've got. We might do a mix tonight. I know it's been a while. Actually, I think I'm gonna try something right now. I think I've got the white swan here. 
I'm gonna try to make a grayish color with the white Does swan and the, the weathered wood. Price includes shipping. Diane, it depends on what website you're on, on jrbhome.com, which is our home decor website. You spend $200 and you're in the contiguous 48 United States. It's free shipping. Uh, JamieRayVintage.com, we just updated it. If you spend over $35, you get free shipping on that website. Yeah. That's, and that's for limited time. It could stick around. We um, It's open-ended right now. We're seeing- We've we're... changed up some things to be able to afford it because shipping isn't actually free, right? Like it still costs us money. So we've negotiated some rates and we've changed up some pricing yeah. to work it in there because a lot of people want We're the We're seeing if shipping. we lose our shirts on it or if uh, we just sell enough stuff that it makes up the difference. Yeah. So we'll let you know. So enjoy it while it lasts because pretty much you buy two things on there, you're at the 35 bucks and you get free shipping. But if it doesn't stick around, I'm just telling you, it could be a limited time. We're trying, we always gotta try new things out. I mean, there are some things, like you could buy six papers. And oh, except for DIY paint. DIY paint yeah, can't we'll be always free have to shipping disclaim that. because they don't allow any types of markdowns or sales. So not us, it's the rule. So normally I stipple salt wash, okay? But in this case, I wanted something a little bit more just textural. I just realized that we're real talkative tonight and it's taken me forever to get to actually painting. I'm we got sure. done like 10, like showing the thrift haul like 10 minutes ago. I still haven't put paint on a brush. Man, I, I'm having a hard time gripping this brush. That's what happens when I grip the trimmers for the tree too long. So this is gonna be decor only. You cannot put this in the dishwasher or submerge it completely in water and scrub it. Although you probably could still put a liquid inside here with flowers because I'm not painting the inside um, and it is glazed, but. It's been cracked and glued back cracked, together. So I, I don't think it could actually hold water. You guys see what I'm doing here? I'm just dipping my brush. I didn't, I didn't feel like pouring it. I don't know why. It's one of those weird things. I'm gonna pour this. So I've got white swan. And then we're gonna go with the weathered wood. We use both of these colors a lot, but not really mix them. I'm the nice thing about these paints is they do mix together really well. Yeah. You can make a lot of colors that you want. They're water-based, so like you, if you have milk paint and DIY paint, you can make different colors. So you don't have to buy every color in the rainbow. Like get some basics that you like and some white and some black, and then you can make a whole bunch of different colors. Especially I think I made gravel small. road. You think you made gravel road? <laughs> That's what Especially it looks if like. you're doing smalls, it's not like you don't need a whole quart to paint smalls. So. No, yeah, just get get yourself get yourself a sample, and uh, especially if you're just barely getting into the painting, um, start with something small, like something like this decor. Or spend four million dollars. Dealer choice. Yeah, you know. I you mean, can. we're fine. Every now and then we'll get people that'll order like fifteen hundred dollars of paint on our website. I'm like, wow, that's a lot of paint. But hey, maybe they got all the stuff to paint. We'll ship it out. We'll ship it to you. We do not have a paint limit. Well, I stink and love this just as is, but I think with some white that wax. That turned out really cool, actually, with the texture. It looks it, it looks like something you'd see at a high-end art gallery now. It's, I'm just saying. I'm throwing it out there. I just said end. it. I'm sticking with There's it. There's still a little bit of line here from where they fixed it, but that doesn't bother me. Let me show you if I can do it without messing up her paint job. Look at that. It looks like it's been like hand turned oh, intentionally Ian, I'm goofy. I'm sorry. Yes, the um, clock kits, the unfinished ones sold. We had 10 extra. So I told Deb, like right now, Ty is working like 14 hour days. So we are not making him cut out anything that isn't already sold yeah. or to our retailers. So maybe next fall, we will bring the clock kits back because I still have the mechanisms. I had to buy 500 to make. To make it I had profitable. to buy a lot to make it all. I don't know. They were too expensive to buy individually in the States and everybody in the States ships them from China. So I actually like went direct to get these, but I had to bag them all up myself. So I was the assembly. So you get them in a little Ziploc baggie. Anyways, I digress. I had to buy 500, but otherwise they were four or $5 just for the clock kit. And with all the other stuff we put in there, I was like, oh, I can't afford that. So I bought them and I ordered 500 and it wound up costing me with shipping 50 cents a piece. Granted, some of the hands aren't correct and I had to like change things out and I had to bag them myself, but 50 cents, I'll bag them all day long because that was a good, then I was able to have the clock kit. Yeah, all the pieces come individually, so you have to like assemble every one. <gasps> so when you get, if, you've got a, if you get a box, dump your bag out very carefully because they're little teeny tiny pieces, like teeny tiny, so don't lose them. 
All right, what else am I gonna paint? Um, well, you got some salt wash left. Maybe. Oh, I have on. this pot. Do we even show this pot? Um, I don't know. We did not. I don't. I don't know. It was it's over in the corner. Cool. Oh, I just dipped the. So I'm gonna do this because we have salt wash in here. So this it's is the end a of the front week. I tell you. With a very not attractive front. Um, for a four ninety nine. What's going on there? I don't know. I I don't know. It's a fork and some measuring spoons. Um, it says West Bend on the bottom. I should probably Google that and make sure that it's not really expensive. <laughs> I'm gonna paint it West Bend Croc. Let me just double check here. So this combination uh, like is- Like $30 it says, but these cover. West Bend Croc, oh, here we go, shoot. It's a bean pot. <laughs> oh, $15. No love lost. All right, I'm selling for $18.95 and I'm painting it. So I this, put it in there that was gonna be painted. This color is getting some great coverage, I will say that. It oh, does it's look really a lot like gravel road. Cute. It, would it Cynthia, would it be bad if I painted this? Um, so the salt wash adds a lot of texture. We didn't add in this one. It also makes it adhere like crazy, like especially to ceramics. This one we did not add a ton in there, so it's not a lot of texture. But if you put the correct ratio, you can get huge stiff peaks and it makes an amazing, amazing texture. Yeah, if you if you got to paint like glass or something and you're just going for full coverage, adding the salt wash to it makes it, it, it sticks so well with the DIY paint. All right, I'm gonna hold off from painting this because Cynthia said it's mid-century. I, I don't need those mid-century peeps coming after me, so. Yeah, they, they do come. They are, they are for serious man. And then if somebody wants it painted, I will paint it. Because whoever buys it, cash is king, man. You want it painted, I'll paint it. I'm really loving this uh, weathered wood with the white swine. Is weathered wood? Yeah, weathered wood. Um, I thought I'd make gravel road, so I went a little more with the it weathered wood. It would make wood. Cynthia sad. Would it make, <laughs> are you gonna buy it, Cynthia, though? Like, would it make you that sad? Because if not, <laughs> we're painting it. No, I'll wait. I'll see. If somebody emails Caitlin and says, hey, don't paint it, then I won't. But if nobody buys it, then I'll paint it. All right. Um, do we have an extra brush that's not dirty? Mm, I don't, there's this little one right here that I use to stir. I'm going to need a bigger brush. Can you bring the heat gun while you're over there? Heat gun? Yeah, where did you put it? It's on the side. One of the sides. I don't know. Oh, yeah. So it's a little bit darker gray. We'll see how it, it turns out. Once it's dry, I might have to do some waxing. Oh, you know what? I, I might found, wax these anyway. I found more classic pots. I'm not gonna do this mirror. I'm gonna put a transfer on that on that um, picture. Sorry guys, if you want to see the mirror, it's not happening. We'll paint the mirror on Monday. All right. We used to try to paint everything in one night. And then we were here till 10.30 and we're real tired, so. Okay, I got a lot of this. I need to uh, probably second coat these. Okay, hold on. Carefully, you might crack that whole pot apart. It's fine. Oh, ye of little faith. Can you get me, though, can you get me like some top coat or big top or something? Cause I'm gonna put the transfer on it. On that? Mm-hmm. With the texture? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll get you some big top. You don't think I can do it? I, no. went, I, I did baby did. texture on After this. After what we did on... Friday After that trunk, I feel like I could put a transfer on anything. Can you do salt wash on plastic? Yep, you can. Well, we got a lot of liquid patina in here. Oh, no. Uh, Amy said that a liquid patina would be fine. Oh, top coat's also good. Um, Amy said she painted a $500 vintage rooster and soda for $12.99. The good news is DIY paint, if, you ha if it hasn't cured all the way, you can totally just soak it in water and you can usually get it off. After it's cured, you're, you know, you're out of luck. But if you haven't sealed it and it's just got paint, you can soak it. But Amy, I mean, it was $500, but they sell on a regular basis at that because right now I have a holographic Last Supper 
Jesus picture that comes complete with light. It's vintage. It's worth well over $125. I'm pretty sure I'm selling it for $89.95 on the website, and nobody's bought it. So it's worth that much, but it's only worth it if somebody pays it. I don't know why people are running to get this Last Supper picture, but apparently it's not a hot seller. So this is a huge gallon of uh, Sweet Pickens Top Coat. It's going to come in a pint to you when you order it. Um, nice matte sealer, it, uh, it, especially on milk paint, it looks amazing. That's what it, I mean, the Sweet Pickens milk paint line is what it's designed for, but the matte finish on it almost looks like wax. I probably didn't need to dry it. But it's a liquid paint. sealer. I'm just going to seal, okay, there, I'm just going to seal that. where I'm going to put the transfer on. Okay, and I might do something on these. I, they're kind of plain now that I painted them gray. You could use big top or whatever. I oh, just yeah. like to seal underneath the transfer for the best adhesion. I need to heat gun them because there's a little bit of streaks on these. They were pretty shiny. So Should I'm going to do put it two on coats. The front, like right here? Yeah, I would. The side. Uh, I think side. If you're going to do a side, I would just say do both sides. Well, I'm not going to do both sides. Do one. Then just do one. That crock only has something on one side. That's on the front. Honestly, if I was going to put that crock in my house unpainted, I'd put that weird mid-century side around the back. Yep. That's just my personal. You can keep the mid-century without having to look at it. <laughs> yep, Jenna says, things are only worth what someone will pay, so don't worry about it. Don't feel bad, Amy. Les says she loves the steam trunk. Thank you. I love it too. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen uh, yesterday's video, we put we, you got six videos this week. <laughs> what? If you haven't seen yesterday's video, it turned out great, and I was skeptical because I was like, man, I don't, I don't know about putting a transfer on this, but it worked out good. All right, can can you second coat that, and then I gotta dry this so I can put my transfer on? Here, just just hand it to me, Did and I'll, tra I'll trade you. Oh, okay. We'll have a little station here. I like it. Are you going on just the side? Laura says just one side. Laura, did you buy it? Is that why you're saying it? Because I thought you were going on a, not going to buy anything. Leslie said she was done buying stuff, but then she's like, I found some money. I was like, girl, bless you. She found some money. You're spending with me. Um, let's see. Oh, Kai would like everybody to give us a thumbs up. Zeb's, uh, where's the thumbs it's, up? It's, oh, it's over on the scale. It's, it's cheating if you, it's cheating if I show them where it's at. <laughs> we just it, the kids move it a lot. It's kind of a long-standing joke in the house now that we like. Long-standing, it's short-standing. Like, like short-standing, like a week standing. Two weeks standing. Has it been two weeks? Yeah, it's been two weeks. <laughs> I bubbled your paint. I, I bought that. Away. It's okay. What? You gave it's me just texture? extra texture. Good job. Good job, Zebray. So sometimes if you paint it one direction and then you paint it another direction, especially if it's shiny helps eliminate streaks. You do get extra texture, so if you don't like texture, then sorry, but. Um, uh, if you let that cool down, I think you could put a transfer on it. Boom, baby, done. Okay, I am gonna let it cool because I do not wanna have an issue. Okay. Oh, Laura bought the crock with the copper top. Laura, that one's cute. It is, it's good. You've done good. Laura always buys the stuff that I definitely, I would. She buys the stuff that Jamie's on the verge of keeping herself. Yeah. <laughs> There's actually a lot of you guys that I'm like, ooh, you have really good taste because I was so wanted to keep that. <laughs> we can't keep all the things because, man, we go out picking and thrifting every week. <laughs> um, M Mama says, do you both stick to a certain amount on a piece, like a certain price? As long as I can make double my money, I will buy it if I like it. If it's something that's not a huge seller and it's not enough profit, then maybe I won't. And then there's something that like, yeah, I know it's gonna be a slow seller, but it's super cheap and I know that I'll make a good money on it eventually, then I'm willing to wait. Um, but if it's a fat, what do you Second coat that, I'll put the transfer on here. No, it's not cool, I'm waiting. You second coat it. You don't think I can do it? No, I have complete Can you get me scissors? Do you need scissors? Mm -hmm. Um. What was I saying? I, oh, anyways, so yeah, if I if I think it'll sell fast, I don't mind making a smaller profit margin. If I think it's gonna take a while to sell, then I want a bigger profit margin because that makes it worth the investment and waiting for the return. Plus storage. Just like investing in the storage stock Storage costs money. That's right. Whether it's in your shop, in your house, 
It's taking up space that something else could be there. Space is money. So this is the classic pots transfer. It's currently sold out. IOD doesn't have any more. We have some on um, order, but we don't know when they're coming. So we'll see what happens. Let's see. Do we want do we want to go like the front the front sack or do we want to do this one? I feel like size wise that one's good. Or do you want some topless cherubs? Um, let's one? let's go with. That, let's go with this one because the curve's gonna be hard. With yeah, I feel like it can't is. go too big. So I'm gonna choose this one. I like the classic pots because you get a lot of value. I'm hoping that they reformulate it into a pad. I've also asked, and you heard it from me first, I asked the IOD sisters to take the crockery stamp and turn it into a transfer. And they're like, that's brilliant. I'm like, you never thought of that? <laughs> it's like, seems genius to me. So if, you, if they come out with it, you're welcome. So you can get these transfers. This one's sold out on our website, but you can get IOD transfers to make over your finds at jamierayvintage.com. And the video that we did on Monday, was it? Yeah, the, the trunk? Uh, no, that was Friday. That Friday. was yesterday. But I started on Monday. Yeah, you did. I it sat on the counter for like four days. I know. Jane Brown saw it and she's like, what is that? And it was on our Wednesday video. I'm like, don't worry about that, Jane. Um, anyways, I saved one whole sheet from that transfer and I'm mailing that sheet to Lynn and Debbie is mailing me some transfer parts. Ellen J. Goods is who Lynn sorry, is. Ellen J. Goods. And so anyways, we're doing a collaboration video next week. So I'm super excited about that. We're sending each other leftover transfer parts. Go ahead. Mary says we don't have a Sabres in Sacramento. All right, so I'm gonna put my transfer on They're here. good, they're, my at least up right. here, they're, they're, they rival the DIs on like the quality of stuff. Just some, like their home decor stuff's a little more expensive sometimes. Where's my stick? Did I have one? I don't know if you ever had one. There might be one in the top drawer over there. All right. Or the second Sabres is cheaper on big items and furniture and DI is cheaper on the yeah. Patty Lynn does have great ideas. She's super fun. She has a gorgeous shop in New York. See if I can put this off. Okay, there we go. It's a little bit hard when your piece is still like damp. Is it warm? Yeah, <laughs> warm. So if you can get the top. If you one, have the time at home and you're not on a live video, let your stuff dry at home. Yeah, it's coming. So you, when you can see that the like the dark black is leaving your transfer as you pull it off, then you know that it's releasing. So that's how that works. Words are, and little details are always the hardest, so be patient with that, especially if you have like a floral with lots of little details. Big florals are easy because once they start to come off, you just kind of peel and they go. But little details require patience, which is something I lack this late at night, but I'm gonna try. If you ever peel it up and it's not sticking, you can always put it back down. The older transfers do not come off as easy as the new ones, like the yeah, first whatever generation. Whatever they're using for the backer, yeah, the, the new, new ones are great. Yeah, the new transfers are bomb. Somebody asked me when the new IOD transfers that they've been seeing us use and the new stamps are coming out. They're um, on pre-order right now. They're on pre-order. We have been told beginning of May. We estimate the end of May because... They got to get them to us, they gotta then we got to get them to you. And we like to under-promise and over-deliver, and I love IOD, but they have been wrong before on their release times. Well, and right now, like, shipping stuff overseas and whatever is yeah. super, super tough. So we we are, we are estimating end of May. So that way, if it comes before then, then everybody's happy. So I was going to do some stuff on this, but I think just the distressing is giving me what I want. Les wants a white ironstone pitcher. I've seen some less, but not really great prices. Have you tried? Do you go on Facebook Marketplace, Les? Are you on Facebook? I can't remember. Actually, I think you are on Facebook because I think we're friends now. But 
I saw one on Facebook Marketplace, but it wasn't like a price that I could buy it and then make a profit, so I didn't buy it. But I will keep looking. I'm sure I will find one. All right, the dark coming back through on this one is good. I will have to see how that one is because I think that one was a little bit lighter finish. So that's gonna come right off. There we go. All right. So there is the transfer on my picture. And I'm gonna go ahead and- Oh, that looks good. Yeah, it turned out awesome. Somebody asked me the other day, they're like, I didn't know you could wax over transfers. You absolutely can. Um, especially, this is for decor only now. It's not like somebody's gonna use it to put stuff in. I'm gonna hit this with white wax so we can get all this yummy texture. I'm also going to distress this a little bit. I love to do that with the transfers to give them some age. Otherwise, they look a little too new for me. How's it going over there? I'm almost done with my wet distress. I was gonna do some stuff, but I think with just the wet distress, they're, they're just the right amount of architectural detail and distress. Like they don't need anything extra. I could put one of those little transfers on here, though. That might be cool. Yeah, you could totally put a little transfer on it. I don't know. Do we have time? We're over time. You know what we have? You put a butterfly on there. Would that be weird? Yeah, that would be weird. I think that I, we're going more sophisticated with the, the old signage tonight. You're sophisticated. All right. I don't know where the white is. Oh, there it is. Like, how is that even possible? for How did you run out of the white wax? Yeah. Alright, so I've got a stencil brush and my beeswax and I have 600 sandpaper. I don't normally use 600, but that's what we got. So I'm just going to... What gonna brush were you using? Distress this. Reaching and I'll, over I'll have Deb show you what it looks like distressed. What brush were you using with the top coat? Huh? What brush did you use with the this top one? coat? Oh, it's green. <laughs> Alright. So I'm just distressing this transfer Heavily pigmented, we'll say that. Paint was a little bit wet, so we're gonna go with it. So now it's got some age to it. We're gonna add the white wax. There we go. Yes, white wax oxidizes there. it. You could also come back, and sometimes I do that, I'll come back with like a dark wax on the detail. It's all white wax, the whole thing. And then I dark wax all the details. I'm using um, Sweet Pickens white wax, which is not as like contrasty, I don't think, I feel like, as the DIY. It's not bad, it's just different. So just keep that in mind. And the Sweet Pickens- The beeswax and it smells amazing. Does smell amazing. Um, it takes a little bit longer to set up, so you have a little more open time, so. Sometimes that's yep. good. If you need to move your, uh, if you're if you're doing like a faux finish and you got some dark wax and some clear wax and some white wax going, you have a lot longer to work with it with the sweet pickings. The DIY wax starts setting up pretty quick. But people ask me like, which do you prefer? And it's I, hard to say. They both I have their different uses. Handy. They both have their different. Like they're good at. They're both good at different things. Yeah. Like if you're in a hurry and you got to get like 37 projects done for your market on the weekend. Maybe DIY. Maybe DIY. The other thing though about the Sweet Pickens is that you can buy like a really small, like I think it's like four ounces. So, or two ounces. So you sometimes just need like very little bit. So that does come out. Okay, let me look at those transfers real fast. Oh, that's not dry. I was like, that's pretty wet. I should have grabbed a bigger wax brush. It wasn't really necessary to have the stencil brush because that's what was handy. All right, let me show you these up close real quick before I put this transfer on here. Um, Kind of playing with the gray, got some good little distress on there. So I think I'm going to do this transfer and it's going to really punch it up a little bit. All right, what do we have? What's the name of the steam trunk transfer? Oh, I Floral know. Floral Anthology. Yeah. I was like, 
I'm like, I, oh. I typed it out like six times in the description and now I can't remember it. <laughs> so I'm wiping back, but I am not buffing. I'm just making it not chunky, if that makes sense. I'll let this cure up and then when I come back and finish my progress on Monday, I'll buff it. But I want to make sure my paint's dry. I want to make sure my wax is cured before I start buffing it off. All right, so here's my picture. And here's the finished look. I feel like the texture's really good. And again, I might come back with some dark and add some age, but I love the white for an overall effect because it just kind of oxidizes it and makes it look washed out. And this was a picture that I don't think anybody else would have bought because it was glued together all the way around and had, wasn't super exciting. So, there you go. Oh, right. thanks, Les. She says she loves it. And Megan says it's cute. Thanks, Les and Megan. Okay. I'm gonna put these How on many and then. sheets do you get in that transfer? So it's one long sheet and yeah. I think it's like 20 ish. I, I don't remember. Where's the tube? It's, this okay, is what's I'll on count. here. <laughs> don't make count while you finish. So this is everything that's on here right there. Pause it and you can count. <laughs> Screenshot <laughs> that. But again, oh, it's sold saved out. Saved it. So unless you can find a retailer that has one in stock, um, which they're pretty popular and they've been sold out for a long time. So then you might not be able to find them. All right. Okay, where's the applicator stick? Kai says the picture has a unique shape and looks 100 times better. Thanks. I actually really did love the shape and I wanted it to look like old pottery. So I think it turned out pretty good. I'm pleased with it. I don't know. What? I'm having to really rub. We might lose some of this transfer. My uh, top coat did wasn't I quite dry. Did I transfer better than you? You might have. You you might have waited for yours to cool down. And no, it was job. warm. I had to. I had to use my inner patience. Jamie, how do you ship the paper rooster? Um, it comes folded in a sheet protector, and then it comes in a hard envelope, like a cardboard hard envelope mailer. If there's really no way to ship it without folding it, that it's not going to get damaged unless you like ordered like hundreds, then we could ship it in a big box. But like one sheet in a box would get all crumpled up. So we fold it neatly, we put it in a plastic sheet, and then we put it inside of a cardboard mailer. And when you decoupage them, they smooth out. Yep. All right. Lost a little bit of detail on this one number, but... Oh, that turned out cute. Yeah, you want to show them? I'll start doing this other one. Yep, so here's the one that Zeb did here. He lost a little detail, but that's fine because it's just H. It's awesome. So I'm going to white wax that. Let's go Maybe ahead. burnish it a little. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I was going to distress it a little. A little distress. Just mush this piece in. You don't have to distress your transfers. I just like them like that. You know me. I like the distress. All right. So this is a small, basically round wooden ball. And it's, <laughs> it's a little bit difficult. It's a little tricky. You know, we, Where's my flat surfaces? How come we haven't been putting transfers on flat hey. surfaces? Everything's like a jar or... We have to show people next or level. Or salt washed or, you know. We did think about doing a sarcastic video because we get a lot of garbage. Well, not garbage, but we get a lot of crap from people for painting stuff. Like somebody's like, you shouldn't have painted the steamer trunk. And I was like, then what would have been the video? Like, we have this trunk. Thanks for watching. I mean, like, that's what we do is we paint stuff. So I thought we'd do a short video and we'd be like, we bought this dresser and just like you wanted, we didn't paint it. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe and that was gonna be the whole video. Zeb didn't think it was funny. <laughs> I'm like, no, we have to paint it. Well, I, you might see a short coming up like that. I did get a little salty with someone. They're like, like, I wish you wouldn't have painted that. It looked better before. 
Um, you just, got just salty? The, no, just the hardware. Did you let they, them know it was you and not me? Because they people didn't always want, assume they didn't, it's it, you. It wasn't salty. Me. I'm like, hey, you know that this is the channel where we paint all the hardware. Because it's someone that's commented a lot. Well, that turned <laughs> out really good. So, you guys, Zep actually does respond to most YouTube comments. I'm yeah. not saying all of them. Because there are times that I do respond. But Zep... And a lot of times people just assume it's me. And sometimes I was like, oh, they're going to think I said that. I'm really nice, just so you know. Most of the time. If you if you get real intense, I don't even bother. You just get blocked. Trap door. <laughs> Although he did, somebody like came after me once and said, like, wait a second. I mean, people come after me all the time, but it was like really bad. It's like, that is my wife. The love of my life. And then he gave him the trap door. All right. Ta-da. Yep. I responded I like a very and then I blocked. <laughs> good situation happening here. All right. Amy says sarcastic is my second language. Opera Dabber says I was told many times, once or twice, that I should die for painting pieces. Really? Seriously? Die? <laughs> have I designed my new dining room table? I have sent Zeb the picture. Does that count as designing? <laughs> Sorry, that looks nasty. Les, you're gonna get the trap door. <laughs> I feel like Les said that on purpose. No, she probably really means it. It's okay. <laughs> I like her. Uh, I like her. She won't get the trap door. Maybe. All right. Is there a way to make cheap brass hinges look like aged bronze or just decent? Um, are they really, really shiny? Cause you might, what I would do is sand them and then put toilet bowl cleaner on them and see if you can give them an age. Here's your wax brush. Um, this one. Oh, you're losing the little one. Get rid of the shine. I feel like it's really hard to transform hardware that's super, super shiny because the paint always wants to come off. So sand your hardware, um, make it rough, put toilet bowl cleaner on it, leave it in a baggie for a few days and see if you can get good patina. At the very least, it's gonna make it dull and then you can do something else to it. All right, you guys, got, says, okay. you guys got some fun stuff tonight. It's been a while since we've mixed paint. We did some salt wash. We're using transfers. We're talking about being salty and passing out wisdom on hardware. <laughs> oh, no. Tarnia said she had a catastrophe in her air fryer making Parmesan crisps. Oh, man. I have some Parmesan crisps in my um, pantry. I didn't know that that's what they were. So if you want to come from Australia, you can have them. Because I don't do keto. I just eat Doritos. <laughs> but you can have them, Tarnia. Uh, look, Cynthia says, looks like the MCM bean pot isn't selling for that much on eBay. I think there were too many. That's what I was thinking, too. And Les said, yep. <laughs> She's not backing down tonight. Um, uh, Tarnia says, sweet, she'll come by in five minutes. Les wants to know how the chicken Man, I want to know what you're traveling on. The chickens are great. We're about to move their their um, coop because we're we've done the sheep barn and we're putting the sheep by the chickens because the they sheep were waiting need, for a larger enclosure. Basically, they needed a bigger space, anyways. And for me the sheep to finish. and chickens live harmoniously together because the chickens will eat a lot of the pests that mess with sheep. So we're gonna put them closer. Also, the chickens are currently located where the pool's gonna go. And while I do love my chickens, I don't necessarily want them right by the pool. So everything's getting shifted to the other side of the yard because the pool is coming in. What color will Zeb paint the clock? I don't know. You'll have to watch on Monday. It's up in the air. I haven't even thought that far I can't yet. commit because I can't remember. So I tell you he's going to paint it some color. Then you'll buy it. And then Monday when we do the video where we finish the stuff that we didn't get to and I'd be like, oops, I'm going to paint the wrong color. It does happen. Or we won't have that color here. And I'll be like, well, we're going with what we've got on, in stock at the house. Debbie says I should buy white wax by the gallon. I actually can buy it by the court from Sweet Pickens as a retailer, and I do use that when you guys get wax um, in your craft kits. It's usually Sweet Pickens, but that's because I can buy it by the quart. Someday, Debbie's gonna let me buy stuff by the gallon, and then you'll get that in your craft boxes. Um, doing a bench for my porch in Old 57, will Big Top protect it? If your porch is covered, if it's, it's gonna, gonna be great. If it's not gonna super, super wet, yeah, it'd probably be all right. It's not rated for outdoors. So if you're worried about being rated for outdoors, I suggest Kills Clear. It's not all natural. You want to do it in well-ventilated area, but it is water-based. I put stuff on my porch all the time that I don't even seal. 
and it's fine, but I have a big covered porch, so it was Just, amazing. Just know that like when we get nasty wild storms, the porch still stays dry. Yeah. <laughs> like our, our swing on our front porch, never sealed it. My black chairs on my front porch, never sealed it. My windows, I painted them with DIY paint, never sealed them. Front the, door. The front door like is now has outdoor paint on it, but for an entire year, this door had DIY paint on it, never sealed it. Yeah. That back door, it's never been sealed. It is a little schmeary because we wipe it, but it's never been sealed. <laughs> so. All right, guys, I think that's it for tonight. All right, um, I, yeah. I was sorry, I was reading a comment. Jen Dune says, Jamie watched Lynn's live yesterday. She put your jar label side by side to real antique jars. You nailed it, but maybe I know that. Sweet. Thanks. Uh, my graphic designer nailed it. I can't take credit. I was just like, make this awesome. So I will let them know. Thanks, Jen. All right, guys, jrvhome.com for the products you saw us selling tonight. If the you thrift want the, the thrift haul. And if you want the paint and the, the transfers and the wax and all that jazz, that's jamierayvintage.com. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. And if you don't like it, still give us a thumbs up or Les is coming after you. Or you can give us a thumbs down. Or you give us a thumb down. It's cool. I can handle it. I'll sleep tonight. <laughs> Bye.